so it's been well over a month now. Let's see, our last episode was with uh, uh, Jake Watson. Yeah. So we had Jake on for episode 26, and now we're at episode 27. And it's, today it's just Ryan and me. So welcome back, everybody. And it's been a little over a year since we started this podcast. It has. Actually, we just, we're Ryan and I were just talking about that too, is we just had. So it was a year, uh, I think it was June 24th when we launched our first podcast. And that was with um, with uh, Eric Larkin, yeah, with Eric. who at that at that time was our neighbor. He's still a really good friend of ours and uh, one of our um, uh, dear friends uh, for the fa- and the family. And and I still remember that day. It was uh, super hot as it was as it is now today. And on this actually happy Fourth of July. So we're recording this oh, yeah. on the Fourth of July, and until I forgot about that. So. We got this uh, idea a year ago, Ryan and I, and we're discussing, and like we normally at that point, Ryan was 13 at that point. And before that, he were thinking about, he asked about like doing some live streaming and we wanted to do um, something cool, something like a project. I've been wanting to do with that with, the, with both the boys, with the Ryan and Nick. And he had, a, uh, he had the idea and he mentioned, hey, what do we do a podcast? And I was like, okay, that sounds pretty cool. You know, what, what did we get involved in doing and what is it uh, as far as topics? And I know um, pretty much everything like what I do is pretty much overthought everything that I do. Everything has, it takes more than just like, okay, yeah, let's go do it and, and, and kind of wing it. Um, golly, it took us, by the time when he mentioned that, it took us about a few months to get it even even the idea of when we're going to launch it and when, you know, because we went through the process of um, uh, what topics and what the tempo and what we're going to discuss. And, you know, we, we are, you know, it is a, a it's a father, some uh, discussions, but also too, we wanted to have fun and we want to do um, cover topics of what we do. And not that we have like such extraordinary and fun lives and, and it's and not like we have, uh, we can share our stories and everybody in, be entertained and, and interested in what we do. But I think in a lot of things, uh, that we did, um, involving just jujitsu and our family and what that's done for us. Cause all four of our family members, we all training, we, we all are very involved with our team and, um, we just wanted to, you know, share it and kind of get a feedback. And I think I, th- I thought it was a pretty good idea. And I think that's the kind of route that we went and went with the name and we hired a graphic designer for the logos. And so it was more than just what more people just do it and to launch a podcast. And, uh, we did, uh, trials on podcasts. We did, um, different audio equipment and ideas of what we're going to be doing. And I remember even, sitting down one day that and uh and all right i'm gonna do this i want to record i've never spoken in a microphone before or heard my voice other than maybe a recording and i remember i sat for almost i don't know it was probably the entire day and it was just basically me recording myself discussing whatever it is i was doing that day and I remember even at one point after a while, I felt comfortable. I'm like, Ryan, just talk about something and lock them in the room and just talk. And, and I was really, what did you, how did you feel about that when you were first kind of doing Talking? that? Yeah. Uh, it felt kind of weird because I've never actually, I mean, I've heard my vo- voice before in videos and stuff, but I've never actually heard it like naturally, I guess you could say just from a rec- good recording like that i it was just weird to to listen to my voice one-on-one or not one-on-one but like yeah just, just, just me yeah yeah it and then i mean i'm pretty comfortable with hearing my voice now but at first it was kind of awkward because i didn't know if i was talking too loud talking too soft or talking too fast talking too slow yeah, I mean, you learn that. I think that's just yeah. habits of practice. I think we we've gone over that, and and it was so hard. The hardest things we, was uh, at first 
was people say like, why is it Ryan talking? And we're like, Hey, we need a, you need to discuss it. Even before this, we were just talking about that. Like, Hey, discussion ideas, think about, you know, converse, you know, cause now we don't have a third person and it's just basically us. And we talk all the time. Um, and the biggest idea, biggest point that we wanted to do with this, with the podcast as, as learning as having it as a learning experience, um, between us was that he learned a skill that is a very difficult skill and that's communication and especially talking to people. It's a very difficult skill. And I've always felt that. And even now people will say like, Oh, you know, back in my day kind of thing. And I'm not going to be that person, but um, it, it is a very important thing. I mean, cause people nowadays, they don't talk on the phone. It's text, and I do it too, but I enjoy talking on the phone. I enjoy talking to people all the time and having a conversation because you, you genuinely learn the emotions of a person more, um, especially face to face. And even over a podcast, you learn, you get a lot out of that person you get a lot out of that, um, their emotions, if they're trying to express a feeling or discuss a topic that was very um, interesting or, um, uh, you know, whatever, whatever topic it was. And, and I think, uh, it, it, having him try to learn that skill, hopefully master that skill, whether it's the, the podcast last another year or another six months or whatever it is, if it continues on to something else and then so on, but also too, is for him to continue on with learning a skill, um, that's a very important skill and also to learning amazing learning stories from amazing people. I mean, we've had I mean, a lot of stuff we do. Yeah, it is jujitsu and we, we, we incorporate a lot of stuff um, that I like to talk about is things that are outside of jujitsu, uh, especially things involving parenting, just certain life in general and certain things that I think a lot of us like hearing, but are not comfortable talking to uh um especially with our kids um and we've had a lot of amazing guests share a lot of amazing stories um you know from ever you know we had professor alicia uh sandoval who's one of our coaches um and share her stories growing up and being a female growing up in an era of a male dominated sport in jiu-jitsu where it was just a just continually just men she had to train with, you know, how it was coming up with that and her family growing up during, you know, learning jujitsu at a later age, you know, becoming a, a, a master's world champion, all that doing as a professional woman. And I was raising a family as having a career, having an education, all that stuff, being a parent, you know, mom, dad, and traveling, doing all these amazing tournaments and, and competing at a very at a high level um, and having a life. And it's something that a lot of people don't take into consideration, um, you know, with certain people as they're, as they're competing. So a lot of that stuff we wanted people to share, you know, we had one of the, or my favorite still is, well, I don't know what, what, what's one of your favorite guests that you've had on. My favorite guest oh, or one of my favorites. I don't know. I well, don't it's hard make... to say it's your favorite because there's a lot of yeah. amazing people that we've had on. Uh, um, but one of your favorites that one of my favorites. I like Jake Watson. Jake. I knew you were gonna say Jake. He's <laughs> such a cool guy. I mean, he's we. He was our last episode, and he was on here twice. And such a fun guy. Just such a such a cool guy. And uh, he just got his black belt too. Yeah, a few oh, weeks yeah. ago, about a month ago, maybe like two weeks ago. Yeah. Just got and his black belt. Just got his black belt. And um, so, yeah, he was just funny. I mean, we would just, I mean, we'd talk. I remember we'd, he'd come in and we start talking. And it'll be an hour of us talking before we even start recording. And then we just continue on for almost two hours of recording. And then continue on for maybe another half hour after that of, of talking. It's just because it's a bunch of stuff to talk about. You could talk about whatever it is and he would just come completely just open, really fun guy, really fun guy, and uh, uh, really animated, and and just a cool guy. But uh, my favorite, one of my favorites, was um, golly, he's a lot. 
But uh, Mio was one of my favorites just because of the topics that we discussed. Um, very, she was very open about um, um, abuse that she suffered um, growing up and, and yeah, at a young age and even at, older, at an older age. And that opened up conversation between Ryan and I. Uh, we won't get into the, the you know topics of that, but um, and, but those are the kind of things after that episode as we we're discussing. Like this is those are the kind of things that he, we want. I want him to hear, um, to hear and, and to kind of like, oh wow. And even if it opens a line of communication between us, it opened a line of communication about something. And and a lot of that stuff is hard to talk about. You know, uh, it's that's not easy. But, you know, so yeah, so it's been a really fun year and uh, we're going to get the, that year anniversary episode with Eric. We had to reschedule with Eric a couple times. Some stuff came up. If you're uh, friends of Eric and, and uh, Eric Larkin and or follow him on Instagram and I don't know how much he's posted, but um, and uh, uh, we're going to we'll get him on here. You know, he said he's going to come back in and. And we're going to have a fun time. So there's a lot of different things from happening that day because even that day it was such a, I mean, it was so nerve wracking because so much stuff went wrong. And even at that point he was launching, they were launching the school Valiant college prep. Um, and now, I mean, that school's doing pretty good. Really doing, good. Yeah. They're doing great. I mean, they're holding their, how, how many kids that they've placed at nationals and they're going to Fargo next weekend. Uh, and a lot of their kids are going there and, so yeah, they're doing amazing. He was telling me that registration for the next school year like doubled for the school, and and so they're like a capacity, a complete capacity now. And like they got to find, and they're gonna have to, I think, wait it out or build out a new part of the school. Uh, so it's been awesome, a great amount of success out of that program. And I mean, it's just not just a wrestling program, but also just education. They had their first graduation, and the graduate it was like two, two people. You know, it's it so it's it cool. You know, it, you know they started from nothing. Yeah, pretty much. They had a, um, a lot of uh, people take a lot of risks between them and a lot of the other people that are behind the school. So it's been fun, you know. And then passing, we've been gone for over the month, and it's actually been pretty cool. You know, we've had a few people, actually, quite a lot of people, ask like, "Hey, any episodes coming up?" Um, love the love the show. Positive and negative has been awesome feedback. Um, even the negative stuff's been, it's been great feedback because I don't take it personal and I don't want to, uh, um, you know, I told Ryan, someone said something and I mean, have you heard anything negative or does that anything negative affect you at all? I mean, no one really sends me anything negative about the podcast. Yeah. But yeah, I, so, I mean, that, no, not really. No. <laughs> and, and it's mostly been like, Oh, you know, stupid or what else? Like some of the stuff. Um, like, oh, that's the dumbest uh, uh, intro ever. Uh, what about some of the other ones? And, and it's people actually that don't even have accounts. So I always wonder who the hell they are. And so it's like people like just <laughs> freaking sad ass people. Like <laughs> you make a fake account to post something to send to somebody. So you take that much time. And it's like, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it's fun because of that, the amount of support that we get from people is amazing. People are like, hey, do you have a Patreon account? Can we, you know, do you have uh, to, for, to send us for support? Because everything here, people say, people know that we pay everything completely out of pocket ourselves or myself. And, but it's like, no, it's fun. It's, it's, our, it's our hobby. It's our, it's our, it's my, pa my personal passion um, with the podcast. and. I have a lot of fun doing it. I have a lot of fun and a lot of different things have helped me, uh, um, uh, that supported me just at, in a, uh, mental state of creativity. And that's what I've told Ryan, you know, and I'm pretty, I'm a pretty serious person, but then I, I gotta be like, okay, well, tell him like, Hey, if you, whatever you want to do, just freaking do it. I don't care what it is, but you don't be so restricted on, how you how you view other people are going to view you um that it holds you back and you know my our, our my our other son his brother nick he's so creative on a lot of different things you know he was the other night he was talking about he was doing stop motion stuff and he's going to be part of the show um 
one day uh, when when we have the studio up and running and we're I'm we're training or I'm training him to be a uh, hand on the creative side on the audio side and the video side to learn a little bit Ryan's been learning a little bit more on the video side and he's uh he's learning he's learning a lot he's been he's been doing amazing and you know we've shared our story about Nick and he actually just got promoted yeah yesterday just got promoted yesterday to a great black belt um yesterday and and so it was awesome and uh it was funny because he was using Ryan's he was yesterday he was using Ryan's gi um and it was uh the same gi I think one of the same gis that Ryan got promoted and when he got his great black belt um which is pretty cool but you gotta take a picture of the same picture I had right after Chicago and Nagy. Yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah, yeah, take it. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take some more pictures. I don't because I don't even think we took pictures or a post it or announced it. I think actually too. And I'm here. And I don't know. We if never that's... announced my yellow book. <laughs> we didn't. Nope. No, we just like posted a picture of me in a yellow book. I don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> never. You know what I you, you, even. I don't know. We even I, you got promoted, huh? Yeah, I mean, I didn't ever really look at it. I mean, it's a journey. I, I like I look at jujitsu as it's just jujitsu. You know, you put in your work and you get okay, you get this and okay, cool. You know, and it's a good I mean, I guess it's I shouldn't uh have something over I don't want to overshadow it or or say like, oh, I don't care about it. And it's cool like, to get noticed and, and to have that um to know you accomplished something. Or that you know that okay you're not good enough yet, um, but something you know you're, you need to work on this, and I think people know like okay I need to work on this to this and this, and but also too, I mean you've never been really like even your medals, like I don't even know where your medals are at. I don't know where medals are at. They're somewhere. Yeah, I mean we've never <laughs> really been. That's kind of weird. Oh, never, they're all under my bed, like in the like in the corner. Yeah, the we corner. have like suitcases of medals from both of Nick and Ryan competing so much. Mm-hmm. And I don't even look at them. And but there's not. I don't know. And I've never because even like you just grab them, throw them in the bag, and then they end up somewhere that the next day. The only and, thing I have out is my Naga belt. The only the thing Naga I belt. That's actually pretty cool though. Yeah, now, like, and that's literally that's the only thing he has out is that and. I think I saw Nick's one. I got to get another belt. belt. Like yeah. A, a cool belt. A different tournament. I don't know how many tournaments I have belts out. Fight to win belt. So I should get next. Eventually. Eventually. But. So yeah. So it's been a fun. It's been a fun year. And everybody that's listened to us at this point. We. From Ryan and I. We appreciate it so much. And then hearing the feedback and then support. Um, from all the episodes that we've had. And even the bad ones that are not so bad, not so great, but also to the, uh, so the past few months we've been really busy. And I think for months now we've been mentioning, okay, we're going to have this great studio. We bought a house and we have, we're going to move this and we started building it or I started building it and framed and it. We ran into some difficulties. And yeah. We ran into some issues. Um, with and some luckily of the st- they worked out. Yeah. So I had a demo, some stuff that I, <laughs> Was not planning on demoing, and finally just said, "Screw it, man! I'm freaking knocking, knocking this wall down." And and so it's framed and everything. And we have luckily, uh, we have amazing uh, friends and family uh, from the Trump Jiu Jitsu that are help are helping me put some time in, especially the electrical side. And so hopefully next week we get the all the electrical run and a um, door. The door we have the door uh, frame. The frame the door is not hard at all. That's been cool. I mean, we've been out there. I've been sweating. It's been so freaking hot here. If you're in Arizona, you, I mean, it's summertime, but it's so damn hot. Damn. Right and now. we and we thought it was going to be like a nice, cool summer too. Well, we at didn't, the beginning, we, yeah, because well, we didn't get summer until uh, I don't know, it's middle of, the, of June, really. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Yeah, it's, up until then, it's been like in the low, like a hundred, basically, or lower. And it was been amazing, and we're like, okay, well, it's pretty normal now. It's a hundred and think that it was hundred and eight today, the the high on on the fourth of July on this Thursday, and so it's been like that. Imagine working in the in the back in in the garage and tearing this stuff down, putting it up, and it's been so it's, that's been every weekend, 
And so I haven't been to open mat for weekends now for um, pretty much that's all my weekends. It's just working the garage, moving this, doing this. And um, and so it's been fun, though. Um, so that's coming along. And so that's going to be a really cool project when it's completely set and done. We got carpet picked out and kind of we're TV picked out where it's going to go and tables getting, we're having a friend make our desk and our table. Um, we're looking at a couple backdrops and backgrounds for the podcast uh, to be in what there. What backdrop do you think would look the nicest? Well, the, I like the one. I like the brick. Yeah, I like the brick too. The brick one. What just, color though? That's the part where we're going to. I either, think we should do black. That's well, that's what I was thinking. Black with the, the red logo. That's that's that's. Or kind we of, should do our our we should do our faces on it. And on now, one wall we should do your face, with it. and on the other wall you should do my face. No, 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 no. Yeah, that'd no. be cool. No. Or no, we should do it where we're like having our hands up, like ready to fight each other. That'd be cool, huh? I don't know. I think that'd be, that'd be cool. pretty fun though. Something fun and something that's gonna be a pretty cool area just to hang out because it's gonna be a a area where. I mean, it's basically going to be, I mean, it's going to be my office for work too. So I have my office. I mean, we even built a PC um, where I'm ditching Mac completely. Um, How has it been without Mac? I mean, I just have Mac for work, but even just having Mac, the PC, we built a PC and we built it and, and we had an issue and then we had an issue with that. The hard drive crashed like five days later after we built it actually crashed. And you have to restart your game. So I had to redo everything all over. <laughs> Um, basically just upload everything windows again and, and figure out what happened, what had happened and, uh, and basically running the PC. We built the PC to basically power the podcast, um, in the studio and just something more powerful and beefy to run the Adobe, uh, you should decorate cloud. it for the, for the podcast. No, you it's going to be cool. You though. should like do those, like, like the, you should like put a logo on the glass. Yeah. No, I mean, I that'd be cool. Eventually. And so or we should well, get yeah, stickers. Well, yeah, that stuff costs money though. I know. Oh so, yeah. So <laughs> we should uh, get stickers. That's so we'll get some stuff in. And so we got the PC done and up and that's basically just the power. I mean, cause we're doing, I, I, I am doing some um, freelance video stuff coming up and some people have probably ever heard, already heard about that or saw some stuff out that I'm doing for some people. Um, and uh, so that the main reason why the PC was for that, because my old Mac, even our old Mac were at home was kind of not up to the task of powering, um, you know, so many uh, projects and, and, and software. But now we got our own little machine. Yeah, we have a really good machine. We, actually, we have a really good machine for that. So it's been fun, you know, and and. Even today, what did we do today? We got watch class. Spider-Man. We had we had Spider Man. We had, we had, we had the open mat movie today. ever. I wish I could spoil it because it, it was so so good. And at the end, that no, was just on top. No, no, that's too soon. Okay, that's okay. too soon. Too soon. That's too soon. We <laughs> had open mat today. It's really good open mat, and we had a Fourth of July rolls, and we had a. Um, after that, we went to go see Spider Man, which is so damn good. So and good. I want to talk about it so bad. Very um, interesting. But man, it's just so damn good. Go watch Spider Man. I mean, even if I, didn't even, I didn't even think I'd like it because you know I don't. I'm not a Marvel fan. I'm I was a just DC, gonna say I'm a that. DC fan. I was just gonna say that. I'm like, even if you're not Marvel or DC, just watch. Or just I had not no idea like what was a, going on. I didn't yeah, even watch Spider Man before, uh, and I just I don't know comic book movie because i wasn't either i mean i watched the avengers i watched all of them and, i don't like the avengers and i was like oh, i have i mean it's fun your brother loves it and yeah. so it's fun and, and i enjoyed it so i want to go watch spider-man so we all went i'm so happy i went and it was so dang good it just was an amazing freaking movie uh we it was a uh, um i couldn't stop talking about it oh my gosh we go out so good between it though but but um <laughs> So a lot of the things, um, you know, we covered what happened over the past year, why the podcast happened and why we're even doing the podcast and a couple of things that, um, 
Ryan. And the biggest thing is, is those of you know us and have heard the podcast as far as, you know, we like bringing on people that, um, that are going to be influential to the podcast and have something to share, not just to our listeners, but to us, like, what is, what do you, what are we going to get out of it in the sense of like, what are you, what's your story? Like, what is it? You know, we don't just want to hear, um, a story. Everybody has a story. And that's the one thing. That's the one thing that everybody has an amazing story to where they're at or what, what got them there and where their journey's been. Uh, but um, like us, I mean, we want to pass people listen to a podcast to one because they want to get something out of it. And we, we we're trying to share something, how we feel our point of view of just the, as far as uh, in what the communication between parent and child is. Um, and we've even had a, a therapist in, which was great. Uh, we learned a lot. Um, which is still one of our popular shows, probably one of the most da- downloaded episodes, even up to now. Um, and we had a, a discussion. Just, I mean, well, the, I think the topic came up when actually Jake was here, our last episode with Jake, which was the one just this last episode, episode oh, twenty six. Um, we he brought up uh, a Instagram account. It was. What was it called? BJJ steroids? I think so. Or steroids BJJ. Something like along that line. And it was basically just a troll account. And it was just a bunch of trolls uh, basically trolling um, every suspected, and I'm using air quotes, um, uh, PED, performance enhancing drug athlete in jiu-jitsu. Um, and everybody knows that's just that's what's going on. Um, there's a lot of people that are using it that have tested positive already, or people that are suspected. You know, they were taking it. Jake brought it up, and they were just taking it to a whole other level. Uh, if you, especially if you were at, after uh, Worlds, IBJJF Worlds, I mean, they were trolling Atos, uh, uh, Galval, um, Hulk, and uh, a couple of their team. Mostly, it was their team. Um, that was being trolled and they were being trolled. I mean, they were like taking pictures around them and then it's just a big old brouhaha that happened at world. And it was actually really embarrassing. And I hope, and I wish Atos had handled it a, a lot better. Um, in that situation, how I mean, did they handle it? Well, I mean, you saw, did you see some of this? Like they were like following people that they thought were them and accusing people that were thought they were them. I mean, their pictures were up everywhere. I'm surprised that you didn't see it. Mm-mm, didn't see anything. <laughs> I mean, there were like basically every meme account had like re- was reposting this uh, this Instagram account's um, post and saying like, "Oh, look at this!" and um, you know, this happened that they were being accused that they went up to some kids and like, "Hey, basically, what I got from it was like, is this you? Are you? Let me see your phone or taking." They went up to kids. Well, I mean, as far as kids, what I mean, like, is like teenagers or like oh. young, maybe like younger people, because that's who was suspected who would be doing some stupid thing like that. I mean, it's a troll account. There was nothing, you know, after that, they're like, oh, we're going to do this big uh, development story. And then the discussion of merchandise came up on some of their posts. And it was like, people were like, what the, f-? like, like they're, they're only the reason was around to is to like, I mean, it's not like there were like these justice people, like they're like, you know, oh, you got to uncover this, people, because no one else is doing it. IBJJF isn't doing this. I was like, no shit, really? You don't think that people like, nah, I guess probably on something. Yeah, also, too, that guy's 40 years old or some crap. You know, like, who do you think, dude? Like, seriously? How do you think they're going to look like that? I'm like, okay, like, let's be realistic here. Uh, you know, if someone's doing it, gives a crap. Freaking do it, okay? You can't imagine how many different athletes are doing it. Um, I, I do understand the idea of keeping it fair and keeping it, if that's the rule that no one is supposed to be doing that, then that's the rule. Um, but I mean, uh, Galvao doesn't even compete anymore. Galvao doesn't compete anymore, whether he is or is, isn't. I can care less. Um, honestly, I can, I can really care less. Um, and it was just really weird when that whole happened. And then the account got taken down. It was completely taken down. And it just like died nothing ever had nothing like it just 
No, and people and usually if you have accounts, they have like second accounts and or they'll bring up another account. And as far as I know, nothing ever came up. I mean, I don't follow that stuff too. I wasn't even a follower, but everybody like memes accounts that I follow, like we're reposting their stuff and that just stuff like kind of way went off the wayside and, and kind of died off. Um, I mean, did you get, did you follow any of that kind of stuff? Did you hear about it or? Not really, no. Maybe I saw like one post. Like, I mean, of course I looked it up. Yeah. After the podcast, but I mean, no, I didn't like follow anything. I yeah, thought it was, I thought it was pretty interesting until they went after Autos. Yeah, I mean, you could tell like the it was like a vendetta or something like that. And I don't know, it was just really weird, just because it was so targeted. And then I think just because more Autos bit into it, they just completely ran with it, which was, I guess that was one bad part of which Autos had handled it a little differently. Um, about it or just like ignored it I mean, it would have went away i mean i think i think it would just went away it wouldn't have even existed but it, it but that that whole thing kind of brought up a topic between uh ryan and i and we talk about it and i mean we all have the, the discussions about um and it, it, like again i mean I don't, and i'd love to hear back from any parents that are out there and on what your feelings are on how open you feel you need to be with your kids and what ages and what, I mean, there's always uh, things on maturity that you talk about your kids with. Like you talk about like, Hey, you talk about the birds and the bees at a certain age with your kids. Or do you even do that? I mean, I wasn't, I mean, my parents never talked about that stuff with me. There's no way. That was never a discussion in our household. They just, and I think people in my that generation, my generation, or the, even the gener, especially the generation before me, um, definitely never had that discussion in, at home. That's just the stuff that you just, you know, you should mess around with your buddies with, and and you kind of talk about it and this and that, and you just that's just the way it was. Um, but I mean, I'd like definitely love to hear what what you guys. How I mean, if it's just a conversation, not anything that I would share, of course, but what do you guys feel about that kind of things and what openness do you feel to what level with your kids? So to get back on track, uh, there was a, and it, it, you know, I'm open with him with a lot of stuff. Um, and then as, as he gets older, there's op- more openness about certain things. You know, we talk about money and we're open about like, Hey, we don't have money to buy this right now. We don't have, we're not going to buy, you know, we have to pay this and this and that. And, um, so we're open on, then we I mean, just that, not just to, because like, Hey, no, we're not going to have the money for it. We're not going to buy. It. And we'll explain to him like, well, this is why we're not going to buy this. And you have to be an open discussion. I mean, what's, how, what are you as a teen now, a young adult, or what, is, how do you feel being you or how do you feel that line of communication with parents and kids is? I don't know. I think, I mean, I I think it's really important to have that connection with your kid. Like, you're able to open up to them and you're able to connect with them. And, I mean, I'm open with you about a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I just think kids should open up to their parents a lot. And, I mean, I don't know. I think it's good to open up to... Yeah, I mean, it's good to have, I mean, you shouldn't feel embarrassed opening up with your parents because 99% of what you're going to talk about is something your parents have done or been through, whether it's bad or good or whatever decision that you need to make. It's probably 99% that they went, they made a decision from that now. And here's the part that, so here and here's a part that where I think parents, even including myself, failed or have failed. Uh, I don't want to use failed in a sense that you, I, not to say failed as a parent, but probably made made the mistake as not being completely honest with your kid about it. Like if you they mention something and they ask about something and you say, "Well, no, okay," but was it no because? you learn from it and you're giving them the advice about it 
And that's different. I mean, that's different. Like, hey, well, no, because you, this is why you don't do it. But I think people miss the opportunity for the to connect with their kid more on explaining why you came to that conclusion. And you, a lot of people came to that conclu- came to that conclusion because they experienced that the reason why. Like, if, you know, I want to do this. Well, no, because that's not a, that's not a good idea to do that because I made that choice and this is what happened to me. Um, and that's the kind of where I'm kind of getting at is explaining to them like that you've been through what they're going through that you're experiencing. It's not the same thing. You're not, you don't want to, you don't want to diminish what they're feeling. I think, um, especially what what I got out of our, I guess with the therapist that we had, but you also want to be able to relate like, yeah, I did that. And this is why it's dumb. Even if you, if you, if you're like that, like I'll tell Ryan, like what's freaking stupid because I did that. <laughs> this is why it's stupid. You know, one of the things that, you know, I've opened up with him. There's some, you know, stuff that I won't share that we, that I, that we've discussed, you know, but I've, I opened up with him after that BJJ, that whole BJJ steroid thing that I, for years, um, used, uh, steroids. I, was on since I was in my early twenties, um, right after high school. And a lot of it was, and we'll get to that. Um, but you know, I wanted him because that's something that even I, and as an athlete and as an, as a male athlete, you're going to, it's a choice that's going to be brought up to them. Not just because like, Hey, well, you know, drugs are bad. And you shouldn't do this. So, well, okay, great. But be honest with them why you shouldn't do something. Be honest to them and say like, hey, well, I tried smoke pot because, and then this is why you shouldn't do it. You know, and honestly, I've never smoked pot in my life. I, I don't drink. You know, I drank in high school. And basically when I started, turned 21 is when I stopped drinking. And I'll sip, uh, I'll have a sip of my wife's drink if she has some, some kind of drink, you know, and that's about it. I mean, maybe a handful of times a year do I sip my wife's drink if she has a drink. Um, I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't smoke. Uh, never smoked pot. Never was never interested in it. Was never had friends that did it and, and, and turned out great people, successful people. I just never did it. It was something that I never, I think I was too stubborn. Why? I mean, why I never did any of that. I was just too stubborn to, to, uh, people like, Hey, you gotta try this. I'm like, well, why? Well, be, well, why? I was always wondering like, well, okay, why do I have to do this? Like, and that was always kind of like that way. So, um, and so I, I, we talked about that and, you know, we talked about it and it, and it was, I mean, it's not a, Something that, I mean, I think a lot of people knew when I was doing it knew. Because just because the size that you, especially when I was in my early 20s, um, I played rugby at a really high level and uh, was introduced to it by a few people and did it and continued on with um, uh, rugby and continued on for a long time, a very long time. Um. And uh, I mean, like, you know, it, 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 you know, it, it, at that point I did it because it's not like I was making money or wanting a career in rugby. I did it because everybody else was doing it. I felt like, Hey man, I'm free. I'm everybody else in this, you know, the league that were all the club that I was playing in at this time in Southern California, you know, we're traveling all over the country playing. And I'm like, crap, man, I'm getting my freaking butt. And I was still in good shape. But also, too, I mean, um, I'm like, okay, well, let's try it. You know, okay, I did it and saw results from it. And I knew the health risks from it. And I'm, and I'm not saying that I'm suffering now from it, but it's kind of the same. It's kind of the thing. I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is a kind of uh, 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 things that come with the territory, you know, and, and with anything. If you drink, you you know you're probably gonna have liver issues if you're drink alcohol if you smoke 
you're probably going to have some lung issues. You're going to look funny. You smell all the time. You're going to, skin's going to look like crap. Your teeth are going to look like crap. If you do smoke crack, you're going to look like this. And this is, so there's always a result to everything you do um, from it. Now, when we had that discussion, how, or when I mentioned it to you, or we talked about it, you know, as much as if, you know, at, 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 at any point, um, was there anything you felt or anything that you had questions about? About the PEDs, right? Yeah. Uh, not really, no. I mean, I kind of understood you did. I mean, I already knew you did PEDs when you were bodybuilding and stuff. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, I think every bodybuilder does uses PEDs mm-hmm. to look better. That's fair. I mean, it's a very fair thing to say. Uh, I think people, um, they... Especially in that, I mean, it went from, well, we'll go back. So after rugby, I got into uh, triathlons and, and I was a big guy already. I was still very muscular and very big, but I did a, a, a charity triathlon to raise cancer awareness. I forgot what it was for. It's a big popular group. I did it for that for my dad passed away from cancer. So I'm like, oh, that's really cool. You know, I want to do something athletic still. Um, but I had all this weight, I had a lot of muscle mass, uh, still. And so basically I still used it and, but I use it was using it more as, as just, um, as testosterone based just to be, just to have more testosterone be, and I got a lot leaner and a lot. And I got, then I got very competitive in triathlons and then I got doing, I started doing, started doing triathlons, not just training, but I spent all this freaking money on bikes and running forever and training all the damn time. And I mean, I get really addictive. That's one of the things too, is is when you have an addictive personality, you have to have care. You have to be careful on what you do. Because even when I, I mean, when I was in my, maybe not in my twenties, I mean, maybe 19 years old, I smoked for a period and I quit like nothing. I was just like, oh, I stopped it. I mean, and I have a, I don't have addictive personality in the sense of like, if I drink, like drinking, obviously not because I don't drink. I stopped drinking. Like, I'm like, I never, okay. I don't really care for it. Um, don't care for, never tried pot, never did this, never did that. So the, the addictive personality from that I have is when I is doing something, you know, it was, it was a rugby uh, triathlons. Um, it was, uh, you know, now it, you know, it's, uh, it's been for years, you know, it's a, a lot of times it was, then I got into bodybuilding. So with that, that amplitude or amplified, um, the, the use. And then I got into jujitsu when my family got into jujitsu. And now that's my person. That's, you know, I'm not, I, I don't, it's not like I live and breathe it, but I enjoy training every day. And that's just the way it, we do. But, and I think the more of addictive personality, you def, it depends on what addiction it is. If you're addicted and some people get like, forget it, man, like one touch of whatever. And I know of people like that, that have from, you know, growing up that had that personality of like, they do pot once and that's it, man. They just can't stop or they can never stop drinking. They just never stopped drinking at all. They just never changed. Um, or they never stopped with something. And I was never like that, but, but except for, you know, the part of like, oh, I want to continue on being the best at something like, you know, I enjoy being like, I love learning something. So I'm learning something that okay, night, like I would call the podcast, this freaking podcast is an addictive personality. I guess like want to freaking make it, make it cool, make it better, make it more amazing. But, um, so yeah, so I mean, that's what kind of led up to it now as far as you, Ryan, I mean, is there, has there ever been a discussion um, and with your friends about certain things that you feel that they should be sharing with your parents? I mean, I don't want you to name friends, of course not, Man. but. I mean, me and my friends are very open about. 
lot of things. We'll say yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Like we're we're very open to each other about your buddies. A lot of th- yeah, a lot of things we've yeah. done, and I mean, I don't know. I mean, and you can. I mean, we're not really. I mean, we don't drink or smoke or anything, mm-hmm. but I mean, I don't know. Honestly. Mm-hmm. I forgot. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> like as far as your buddies, like, what do you, I mean, is there, like, isn't it, is there anything that you wish that they would, um, that you wonder if they share with their parents or maybe they don't have the communication with their parents? I mean, most of my friends are very open with their parents. And I mean, <laughs> they're really good. Like they're very close to their parents yeah. and they're probably very open to their parents about a lot of the stuff they do. And you can kind of notice where they get the stuff that they do from. I'm not saying it's bad stuff, but mm-hmm. you can tell a lot of stuff they get from their parents. I don't know. Like when like the topics that have, uh, when we've discussed it, um, going back to the PED stuff and, and whatever, um, is it, is it always been like uncomfortable for you to talk or is it not this point now? Not really. You know, once, I mean, it was never, I was never really, com- I mean, I, I don't know. Well, like in elementary, I never really like thought about like yeah, any of the, that. Yeah. We but never- once I got into junior high, a lot of, I could tell like a lot of kids do smoke and mm-hmm. do a lot of drugs in junior high. And then I got like. Not comfortable, but like I got used to like hearing about everything and seeing everything going on. And then, I mean, now in high school, it's going to be way different. Yeah. I definitely, I know that. But I mean, I don't know. It's just interesting to see everything. Now, do you think that the, um, do you think that, it's a, it's, where do you, where do you think, or, um, if there's any, if you feel that there's a disconnection between a parent and a kid, where do you think that they should work on being coming from a kid? Not that you represent every kid, but where do you think that, like, if you were, if you were, um, able, able to tell a parent, like, Hey, listen to this about your kid. I don't know. I mean, most of the friends I have are really connected to their parents and really close to their parents. Mm -hmm. And I mean, some parents are like more tough on respect than them. And some parents are a little more loose on respect with them. And you can kind of tell how the respect is for the parents and between the parents and the kids. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's probably normal for them and not normal for someone else to see that. But I mean... I don't know, a lot of the kids, even, like, not bad kids that I hang out, but, like, not, I don't know how to say it, but they're not bad kids, but, mm-hmm. like, just don't do stuff that they... They're supposed to? Yeah. Like, but, I mean, I mean, even them are really close to their parents and really... Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's any ever a bad kid. I've never liked the term... I, that person's a bad kid or that kid's a bad kid. It's like, well, it kind of goes with the, with the, with the line of, and I know a lot of people are into like, Oh, you know, uh, kids are into their phone now and they, all they do is stare into their phone and they don't communicate I'm with their parents. I'm addicted to my Xbox. Yeah. I mean, but it's also too, it's like, okay, well, you know, you're talking to your, you're texting on your phone and you're not communicating with me. And we're guilty with that as parents myself. Uh, but I started looking at it. I was like, well, do you have anything interesting to share with your kid? You know, if, if, if it's, if it's, if you have something, I mean, what are, what, what's your kid supposed to do? I think what's your, what are they supposed to do? What are they supposed, you're not talking to them. If you have something interesting to say, 
you know, don't just be telling, you know, and I think that's where like a lot of it, where I think people's like, oh, you know, this generation that gets thrown around. I think that that's happened in every generation too, by the way. But where they were, you know, even me, like, okay, well, why you put your phone down? I'm like, well, shit. And then I think about like, well, damn, you know, I'm not, th- I'm not talking anything interesting enough for them to get their attention. So obviously I'm doing something not completely. Okay. Well, what, like, Hey, let's communicate. Let's talk, let's talk about this. That's not what you're talking about. Let's talk about this. And I think that's where, um, I think people are kind of maybe, I think get the, you know, and also too, if you want to disagree with me, definitely let me know if I'm talking wrong. But I think that's where a lot of people make the mistake is where they're like, like, well, maybe you're, because I was like, you know, I don't want to talk to my parents when I was my age. I mean, I was like, okay, I'm not going like to sit there. If I had a phone, well, I know that. I mean, we have, you know, we we have fun. We joke around. and But, uh, I mean, but if there's something interesting, because I, I try to make something interesting to talk about. You know, some stuff is a little more serious than others about, you know, hey, clean your room, do this, do that. And, of course, that's always going to be there. But also, too, it's like, you know what? If my parents didn't have anything interesting to talk about, why do I want to? So yeah, I remember that time, and even now, I was like, hey, well, talk to your kid. You know, I'm not an expert by any means of the stretch of the imagination, or even I'm not saying I have the most perfect. You know, I have a lot of different struggles with 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 my kids and and relation at home, everything. It's just the way it is. But like, try to understand like what are you talking about like what is it that you you know don't just talk at them and because that's exactly exactly how your parents were talking to you and you kind of like it went went through one ear and went out the other or went around your head the same damn thing that's happening now so you got to find a way and actually too what what i felt about this part and we had a really good episode with a, a co-worker a colleague of mine who a mentor of mine um, uh, Cliff Woodbury in a few episodes ago it was a while back ago and we talked about coaching and then using coaching strategies to communicate with your spouse and your kids and go listen to that and kind of look into that more and how that's that's how that's helped me because then I listen to more I don't want to sit there and like you know use words to like well you have to do this I'm like okay well I want to listen I want to get information out of you. Like, well, let's talk about this. And, oh, well, that's what you want to talk about. Like, okay, well, let's talk about that. Teach me. Okay. Minecraft. Okay. What is it? The, this he plays the, Minecraft. Uh, no, no. I was just saying, you know, like, okay, if that's something you and your brother are talking about, your brother wants to talk about God, his, his Legos his or like Avengers oh or something. God. Okay. Hey, it's all so he talks about. Talk to me about but yeah, but also too, if I go in there, but do you see what I'm saying is if I go yeah. in there and I say, Hey Nick, tell me about your day today. What about fine? It's going to be the same thing. If I tell you, tell me about your day today. What did you do? <laughs> Nothing. You know, same freaking thing I would answer too to my parents. You know, everybody's like, Oh, my generation. I could say that too, because I really, I'm a really big proponent of communicating and, and, this old school but fashion. But if you ask him about his Legos or his Avengers. But then that's the thing is like we talk about that. Like we can discuss that. We can have a conversation about that. And then that leads into like, hey, what a, like, wow. You know, so if, if I mean, it, it's something that you just can't as you can't just hold it on your kid to be like, let them having them just dictate a conversation. I was like, come on, they're 10 or 11 or 12 or 13, 14, 15. I don't even think until they're like 16 or 17, as far as having a conversation with them without you directing, like, hey, let's talk about, you know, coach them through a conversation and so they can talk about something. Cause I can't come up to you if I say, how was school? Good. I didn't even go to school yet. Okay. But I was saying, that's as far as I, that's as far as the conversation is going to go. That's yeah. all I say. Or even if it's like, tell me about one exciting thing about your day to day. I played Xbox. Oh no, this. That's all you're going to get. You know, and tell me one thing about. I freaking hate that. Man, when people start, I personally never like that. When people start, like, well, tell me, explain this to me. Well, because, well, they're just going to. 
And I mean, there's no conversation. Less and less there's interested. no conversation. I mean, and also too, there's only a certain amount of conversation you're going to have with the 12 year old, 14, 16 year old or 10 year old to some degree. I mean, so I'm sure there's a lot of kids out there that just are more better than or at, at this than other kids. But the reality is just like we were a majority of us are, especially if you're, you know, people that are, I don't say normal parents is like, dude, or normal people that grew up. It's like, Hey man, you were the same damn way. You were avoiding any conversation with your parents at whatever time. And, but, and I think a lot of that has to do with people, uh, you know, and I say that more because, you know, my father passed away at 15 and I, I, I wish we had more conversations about things. Um, you know, a lot of the things that I learned is from, from him is the things that I watched a lot of great things, amazing things that he did and a lot of bad, a lot of mistakes that he made, but I learned more from that than, um, you know, I look back and I'm like, okay, I learned, I, I learned a lot from that, but I wish like we had a conversation to, so I can have stories of like, remember conversations like crap. I can't remember conversations between us. And I think a lot of people feel that way. Like, Oh, I wish I had this, you know, and, and, or have, if they don't have their parents, you know, they, they don't want their kids like, Hey, I want to have a conversation with you about something, you know, but also to, you don't want to have a, a fake conversation with your kid about, you know, if they're going to be miserable talking to you about something. Right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, not that you're a parent, but what I'm saying is, I mean, you don't want me to talk about gibberish. I mean, they're like, like Oh God, dad, like really, Oh, here we go again. You know, and I'm sure some things I talk about are like that too. And, and I try to avoid stuff like that because I want to like intrigue your mind to share something with me and or just not even share it but just talk talk about something like i don't care like that's like kind of like even like the podcast just talk dude just don't care what it is and then we'll conversate like it's even like with podcasts and that's why it's been so amazing you about the podcast too because you get some people you just talk and you just don't you don't have a set plan or goal or anything but you get 10 times more information because you cover a gamut of different things and you just talk about and you get to know the person a lot more that way than tell me about this so like and it goes back to the son tell me about this today and it's you're going to get an answer I'm like okay but there's no let's where's the dialogue where's the content in it and, you know that's so i don't know and, it, and it's a topic that i really wanted to bring up because we are going to have therapist uh um uh jennifer edwards back on and so I really want to get ideas. Parents, if you're listening, please send me ideas or topics that because when, when we had her on, we talked about a lot of things. Um, and then some people uh reached out like, hey, next time can you talk about um uh what was one well like more on the like suicide, a suicide of a family member someone mentioned, and another another uh person mentioned about divorce. Um, about the uh, uh, the kids and dealing with divorce, um, and also too, I definitely like want to hear back from you guys about topics. Even if you talk to your kid about something, what it talk, what it was, and how you handle that. But I really want to hear back. I mean, it's a cool conversation, and I think it's an awesome topic that people to not shy away from. Um, don't feel embarrassed about your kid, and and also too, I think be open with your kid about your mistakes. If it's a divorce related thing at some point in time, be open about what happened, you know, the entire story of what, what happened. Um, you know, if it's, uh, if you got a DUI and back in 10 years ago or something like, Hey, I made a mistake because of this. And this is why you don't want to drink. Or this is why you don't want to drink and drive, or this is why you don't want to go out to do this, or you don't want to do that. Um, like, hey, back in, you know, you did this, you know, and this is why you shouldn't do that. And you know, so, 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 I guess 
talk to them more on the sense of sharing with them what's a I don't know what it goes appropriate with age, <laughs> what's gonna be appropriate, um, how far you share with something, it's your choice and, and it's just more of a night a thought that I think about a lot. Um, because I think about it daily we're sharing with our with our kids, with Cindy and our you know, with our boys. Um, and even with each other, with Cindy and I we're so I mean, we've been married for fifty or fifteen years. You know, but there was stuff time like where we're getting to know each other as a couple. Like, how much do I share? Do I share this? Do I share that? And we share, you know, you get to a point like, when do we share this? When do we share that? You know, you you have to have that honesty. And I think when you have your family, you, you, everybody has to be honest with everybody. If your kid makes a mistake, you have to be open with your kid and say, I made the same damn mistake. Or I'm at that. I was at that situation or at that crossroad, too. And this is what happened. And this is why I chose this. And it was good or bad because of this. Man, you know, think about it, you know, but definitely, guys. Um, you know, we just want to touch base and make sure to let everybody know we're still alive. And and Stranger Things is out so, today. And, and we're yes, going to watch it. And we're going to. Well, I'm going to watch it by myself in my and, room. Oh, man, in I, the dark. I, I regret so much not taking tomorrow off. Because so I want to binge watch Stranger Things, and I know if you I should had, just stay up late. Oh, it's no freaking way! I, I binge watched season two of Stranger Things, and it was up. It was like the sun was coming up. The next, day, I was like, "Damn it, I did it again!" Like, so there's that addictive personality too. So, I'm but just were gonna, you tired at work? No, it wasn't during work. I did it uh, on the weekend. Were you tired then? Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't stay. Pa- I can't stay up late like something like oh, that. I can't. No, I can't. Oh my god, I could stay up a whole I and I've done it so many times. And I mean Oh no, I, I don't know. know. I mean I've done it too. And I actually thought about it. Like it was a good topic for the podcast. But like I talked back to like the being open with like kids and like drugs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know I stay up late on Xbox all the time. Oh yeah, and most you're of the on time summer vacation. Yeah, most of the time we're not even playing a game. We're just talking. And it's like like, most of my friends are, like, I mean, they're good kids. Some of them aren't. Like, some of them, I mean, they'll send me stuff that you may not like, but they're good kids. I mean, we have really good conversations, like, at night, like, when it's just, like, three people, like, like just talking about, like, oh, how do people smoke and stuff? It's so bad for you, and I don't, it could ruin your career. And it could, and I've seen my friend fall from it and just, it's really interesting stuff, and we just get into deep conversations. Well, about you it should have those conversations with your friends. It's part of growing up. Yeah, it's a part of growing up. So you it's should the, let me stay up tonight. Well, Xbox. that's things that aren't going to change, you know. And it's like, okay, it's summer. Yeah, you guys have your chores. You don't do your chores. Certain things happen. Uh, certain things don't get done. Certain things happen. Certain things get get done. Certain things happen. Certain things happen. You get certain things. You get. Like I said, it's like, it's just, you make your story. You make, you choose your path and your, uh, you search. Tonight's um, path is watching Stranger Things. Too. And that's why too, like, hey, sometimes like, you can't stay, like, phones, everything, boom, off. You guys need to go to bed early tonight. Nothing, other times, like right now, summer times, to keep your phones, talk, I don't care. And all that stuff, all that buddy stuff, that's freaking memories, man. Like, what I tell you? Like, I've told you that. I like, like my dude, best buddies. Dude, like, told you, like. There's friends that I've had, you know, memories from them that, dude, I'm sure we've never going to share. We've never shared with anybody. And they're just the way it is. You're your buddies. You know, you have, you have times they share stuff with you. You guys experience things together. It's just the way it is. It's just, you know, you don't want to, those are cool times. I mean, I'm not going to take that away from you guys. You have to experience it and then suffer whatever. You know, that's the, like I said, decisions come from that. And, but also, too, I'm like, I'm going to be stupid. Like, I didn't stay up late before or talk about certain things with my buddies and be open with my buddies about this. And yeah, you you're, if you have, you're open about certain things, your buddies about certain things, that's cool. You have your small group of buddies that you're like, hey, like, this is like, I have some sort of my buddies that, like I said, at age appropriate, we'll talk about it. And like stuff like, oh man, dude, that reminds me about this time, about this, we did this and this, and then like, oh crap, that was crazy. Then, so it'll come out. But anyways, so, thanks guys. So thanks again. 
for Thank listening. You. Yeah. Again, yeah. one year. We appreciate everything. Dang, one year. The people that have been with us since from the beginning. We're and all almost the halfway there. And we're, we're, well, we just finished the first year. We're almost um, halfway there. And um, <laughs> almost to episode 50. Episode 50, we have to have a. Now we have to episode cool. 100 to do something cool. But even really those are, that really are going to cool, be though. with us and, and, you know, and, you know, we want to put out uh, some good stuff for you guys and not just put out episodes just to put out episodes. Um, and we've been really busy, right? We have school, summer coming up. We have school coming well, up too. Yes, so cool. Um, and well, Nick Ryan, has school coming up in like Nick two has, or three weeks. Yeah, he has school a lot sooner than he did. I have like school in five weeks. And Ryan's going to high school. So that's going to be stuff that, so, you know, it's life happens. And, um, as, and again, we appreciate people that have reached out and listened to us and everything. So, but anyways, guys, we have stranger things to watch. We have fireworks to watch and you can hear some of them going off in the background. Already. Yesterday people were doing fireworks last night. We've been doing it. Yeah. For a oh while. My gosh. Now. And I'm like, I mean, it's a very big day, but I mean, some people are trying to sleep. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even 12. It was like maybe like nine. Yeah. It was nine, like nine. Yeah. I was very tired though. Yeah, we didn't so. get fireworks this year though. So no. or we have I really got fireworks. We need to actually. go to Mexico and get the really nice no. fireworks. We did fireworks last year. And real quick, we spent about like 200 bucks. And In it lasted five minutes. like five minutes. I'm like, why did I do that? Damn it. That was the worst freaking. Remember that one time when Eric brought the big fireworks from when they went to Mexico? Roman candles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so fun. And then they got the firecrackers and we're at the end of the street. I don't think you guys saw, but we were just throwing them in each other's shirts yeah. and stuff. Yeah. They're so was, fun. Like, yeah. We're, I mean, we should shoot Roman candles at each other. And now my whole Instagram page is just hands blown with up. fire. Yep. Yeah, literally just like bones. Yeah. And it's nasty. It's really cool. I mean, I don't. I'm not that like not cringy. Like, what's it called? Like grossed out by? Yeah, it I'm not grossed out at all. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm yeah. Like, so, anyways, guys, we're gonna go and have some fun. Enjoy the rest of your fourth. Hope you guys have a great fourth. Happy Fourth of July. Fourth of July, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.